So today, I felt them absolutely terrified. I, know. I was gonna start, I love you, but you want the truth, shoot. Part of me screams every time I utter those words. You ready? I scream because they're not enough. Those aspirate words seem to dissolve into inexistence when confronted with this feeling I have for you. So we've established I'm a sloppy little shit class. Let's move on. <laughs> so here I sit, scanning my brain's dictionary for a word that can hold the weight of a light spark in the dark and the taste of salty tears through softly smiling parted mouth. A word to capture the floating of a heart when the weight of the world is given all it's got to drag it down. See, my whole life I've been holding my breath, waiting for the day life finally killed me. But stood in your aura, all I seem to want to do is breathe in that weighted sweetness surrounding your skin. I was surviving before, sure, but this fresh new breath made me live. I could live on my own, but with you, I'm alive. I desire your breath. I need it intertwined with mine, making colours that even rainbows couldn't imagine. But how can we make a rainbow when all you can seem to breathe is darkness? I stand inside your starless cloud. I see your colour blindingly loud and I see those daisies blossom in your blood. Then I watch you sever their petals, staining them with your crimson wave that crashes through that starless cloud and hits your speculation glass. Stop looking. Can't you see it stained with blood, burnt from your reflective hatred? Let this weighted love implode your looking glass, please. Now. Look only in the mirror of my eyes and see at last your true reflection. Let my light pulverise your darkness in all its cheesy glory. <laughs> and live with me. Breathe with me in the purest new colour only we could imagine. Only we could create just for us. <laughs> and a word for that. Well, I just can't fathom that these scattered words that live in this moment here, well, they're just for you. Ah, I hope that was okay. So that was a poem, spoken word in style. Um, it's called For You. I wrote this poem a while ago, it was after I decided I definitely wanted to make a YouTube channel and I wrote it for my girlfriend at the time because I was used to write poems and I was used to read them to her and she was the only person I used to read them to and she was always like, yeah I'm going to write a poem for me and then I did write it <laughs> we were together in the relationship but we weren't together, we were in different places in the country kind of thing so I was like oh, you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna like film it on YouTube then I'm gonna like send it send her the link to her like new YouTube video but then like it just be like for her for you yeah, get get the link yeah anyway um and then I was like uh well we're kind of not together anymore so might as well just do it um because it's still like a gesture like I like to keep my promises like it actually says on here that I was gonna do it through YouTube so I was like oh I'm just gonna do it keep my promise but may as well make it into an actual video, which I'm absolutely terrified about because outside of Sophia and one poem that I read to my mum, they they stay in my journal. That's where my poems go, in my journal. They don't go anywhere else. They don't go into the air around me. But today they are, so that's great. I'm absolutely terrified. My so there you go, Sophia. There's your poem, finally. Give yourselves a hug um, and stay safe. I'll see ya if you want to watch any more videos. Bye, have a good day. Hey!